Hello Cancer and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess. This is your weekly love reading. Now it, when I say love it's any kind of connection. It doesn't have to necessarily be love. It's something that is kind of resonating with you at the moment. These are general readings so they may or may not resonate. If they don't resonate you might like to check out your moon and rising signs as well. If you want to skip the intro and the spiel, there will be a timestamp in the description box below. We've had Camel come out for you. And these are not time specific, these love readings. They're just divine timing. You will kind of get them at the right time. So you can go back to older videos if, if something stands out and resonates with you on the channel. So let's get stuck into it, Cancer. We've had Camel come out. What else do we need for Cancer? Who else is coming out? Oh, wow, Sea Serpent. Okay. All right, we've got Camel and Sea Serpent. Beautiful energies here. Now... The sea serpent is presenting from the element of spirit and the camel's presenting from the element of fire, although the camel's an interesting balance of fire and water because it retains its water. It has that resilience, so it has a nice mix of emotions and desire and passion and motivation. It, it, knows, how to, it knows how to keep itself replenished when, when things are lean. It's a real survivor, this camel energy. So... I'm actually not getting very strongly which one is you, Cancer, but for the sake of picking a side, I'm going to pick the camel and the personal connection you're dealing with is, is sea serpent. Now, I'm not even entirely sure at this point whether this is another person coming through or you're just seeing a cycle completing here. So we'll just see how the reading progresses. Another person might come up, this person might, this end energy might emerge as a person. So we'll see. I feel like, you know, for you, you've seen some things in your lifetime. You've seen some things that potentially might have shocked people, but you've managed to get through it. You have managed to survive and find this resilience that so that now you know that if something gets thrown at you, you know that you've got this reservoir inside of you that you can tap into. And it's something so being a water sign, it's it's like your own well, your source. So it's something that you can connect back into and replenish yourself, even in really lean times, even, even in times when it feels like there's nothing else around. You know that you have this place inside of yourself that you can connect to and feel okay and feel like, okay, I'm going to be able to get through this. So it feels like for this sea serpent energy, this is very much seeing that this is a cycle that you're in at the moment. I think this is the bigger picture. I'm actually not getting this as another person here. I feel like this is you connecting to a, a kind of a collective energy, <laughs> Cancer. It's you connecting to like the collective energy of the planet or the society around you. You're kind of observing and seeing how it's affecting other people, especially, you know, at the moment we're in the midst of the COVID-19, the pandemic so you've got this kind of bigger global vision. This is what I'm getting with this camel that at this moment in time and you're able to observe the patterns of humanity and how things are working and how people respond to things. And there is a real, there's a kind of calmness here. There's a real, there's a lovely wisdom that's coming through with this camel energy. So I think that you're a very wise soul cancer coming through. I am just going to see if there is another energy like a particular person that wants to come through in connection or relation to this because it is connecting to the collective uh, but collective consciousness and it, it's more about your connection to the world really cancer here. I'm just going to see if we have anyone else that wants to come up that might be part of this reading as well. Another person. Yep. 
Oh, we've got two people coming up. Okay, it was, what's happening? We're having a party. <laughs> this is a party in the reading today. We've got Crow Reversed and Swan Energy. I actually feel like this is the same person. So there you go. You've got two. They've got two cards. It's very evenly balanced, isn't it? So uh, it, there's a sense of fairness here. There's an even give and take. So I feel like this is someone that's quite prominent in your life. It's someone like, if you've got that, then I'll have this. Uh, there's a nice equilibrium here between the two of you. Now, this person is actually pretty, seems reasonably, usually reasonably calm. Except at the moment, I think they might be having issues with their intuition or their psychic connection. It might just be that they uh, that's been cut off for whatever reason. They're having trouble connecting into that because the swan energy just effortlessly flows through the water, effortlessly, a bit like that camel. Camel's resilience because of past experiences and learning through pain. This swan energy is effortless as well because they're they're not, they'll be able to be in this kind of almost mindful state where they're quite detached, but normally. So this is what they're normally like, but there's this, there's this thing that's blocking them in their mind, in their psyche with this crow energy reversed. The crow upright is the visionary who can see the future, who's very psychic and intuitive, but up reversed, it's like, you know, they're so used to be able to see that and to know what's going to happen, but now they don't. They don't understand that. So it's kind of like, why don't I get, why aren't I seeing a clear picture? I normally am seeing a pretty clear picture here. So let's pull some cards for both of you, Cancer. Let's pull some clarifiers for you. So it could be a very, like, it could be someone that's normally very psychic that you're dealing with here, your partner. But uh, yeah, let's see. They got the Queen of Wands. They have the Knight of Cups. There's a real lovely soft connection between the two of you, actually. It's, there is a lot, there's a lot of love. It's really nice, actually, this connection that you have. So let's pull some cards for you. They've got the Four of Wands and the Knight of Cups as well. Let's get some cards for you. Okay, you get the Three of Wands. Judgment and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck we have the Fool card. So there's a leap of faith here. There's trusting, trusting this new beginning. So let's start with you. Let's start with you. So we have the Three of Wands, Judgment and the Eight of Pentacles here. So this is your energy, Cancer. The judgment is the major arcana. It's sitting squarely in the middle of between these two energies. It it seems like there's been an of there's a whole new fresh energy coming through that potentially could be like a rebirth here with this judgment card coming in. I feel like however you used to work with this eight of pentacles is all changing. And so there but the work that you've put in in the past is now starting to reap its benefits. You're really starting to see some success with this. With, I'm just getting that you've put a lot of hard work in and I'm not saying seeing necessarily it's just related to career. I feel like it's related to self-development as well. And also it could be related to this connection, but I feel like it's, it's that mirroring thing uh, that you and this other person very closely mirror each other. And so, but this time you're seeing very clearly the situation. You are able to see the higher, the bigger picture, but they're struggling with that. So it's, it's kind of interesting what's going on here with this energy. But I feel like you're moving, there's a lot of positive energy around you here. 
I, I just feel like there's a, a, some kind of divine intervention has come in, which has actually it's blessings that is coming through here for you, Cancer, with this judgment card. Very strong blessings coming in saying, yes, you have been really working really hard on this soul lessons that you've been doing and you will be starting to see some reward and effort for that. For them, they have the Queen of Wands, the Four of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. I mean, I think they see you as, you know, someone they love, their long-term partner, someone that's going to be in their life for a long time if it's not romantic connection. But they definitely see you as someone building a lot of stability and foundations with. There's a lot of um, moving forward together in the same heart space. So it's really positive energy. And they're actually, you know, if they can't see the bigger picture, the psychic picture, the one thing that they do really know is they want you in their life and they want to be spending it with you. So... They're actually, despite the fact that that crow is reversed, I think they're most everything else is in a pretty good space for them. So let's pull a card for this connection for you, Cancer. Let's pull a card for this connection. It feels like you two are just heading on the same. You're going to be heading down as down the same path. It's only going to make your relationship stronger. We have show your support and hope and happiness. Beautiful cards coming in here, Cancer. So, yeah, I feel like there is a lot of hope and happiness in this relationship. I'm feeling really positive. I'm feeling really good moving forward. It feels like such a great, beautiful connection to be moving forward with into these times. So I feel like, yeah, they might... They're like 90% feeling pretty good. It's just that 10 or perhaps even 20% of not being able to see the bigger picture that they're struggling with. But, you know, showing your support, I think it's this is you showing your support for them. And I think that that's going to be enough to pull them through here. Okay, what message, messages do you have for Cancer from the angels? What message do we have for you, Cancer? We have no. Okay, I'm going to pull. That's usually, that usually is a sign from the angels that you're going to get a no around something. Now, it doesn't feel negative because everything else is feeling positive. So I'm going to fall. So it might just be you kind of had an idea about something and let's. it's not going to necessarily pan out as you think, but it might actually pan out better. It's one of those things. Let's pull a supporting card, angels, for this. The situation will improve. Yeah, so definitely the situation's going to improve. You've got a no. So I think that that's going to head you down a very specific direction. So not to worry if you're getting some kind of no in this situation or in the near future because it is going to get better. Oh. And those birds in the background. Okay, let's pull a card for the outcome. Let's pull a card for the outcome for you, Cancer. And I feel there's quite a bit of instability around. So I don't feel like Eight of Wands, the Star card. Oh, the Five of Wands. Wow. Okay, beautiful. And the Death card. Big transformation coming through. And that's why I'm, get, I'm feeling that... There's that instability with the death card. There is a big change. There's a transformation occurring here. Now you have the star card, wishes coming true quite quickly. So we have that eight of wands coming coming in, a very swift change or some kind of very clear communication coming through. And again, I feel like it's all very divinely inspired or there's a divine blessing coming through for you. Uh, you're putting behind yourself that five of wands energy, which is the conflict, some kind of element of competition, perhaps with other people as well, or conflict with a group, a collective, with a group of people. And we had that come up with that sea serpent of being able to see how people are struggling, how the 
collective can be, there can be conflict within that collective un- uh, consciousness. So, but for you, I feel like you're in this very much at that we're able to put that behind you here. You're very much in this energy. You're getting very strong messages from spirit here. So I feel like I just get that this relationship and connection has been divinely blessed. And so that's why I think you're just going to be heading down the right path together. It feels really, when I'm tuning into the energy, it feels really expanded and golden. So it's beautiful energy. And so I think if you are getting a no, then it's just the divine kind of nudging you in the right direction. So I hope that makes sense for some of you guys, Cancer. If you'd like to hear more, please like, subscribe or leave a comment. Take care and talk to you soon. Bye.